Alright, welcome back to part 9 of my walkthrough. Alright then, remember we beat that guy last time? Let's head back to that guy. You know, the demon court guy. The useless one who always gets things stolen from him. You know, the guy. Yeah. Oh, this guy's moved. Tano's West House. Let's have a look what's inside here. Oh wow, look at this cool guy. To get, a, to, get to Verdantarf without using this tunnel, you'd have to cross the sea, Durfurt, Solon State Port, then travel through Moval. Anyway, this guy just basically tells you to get to the next region. Well, not, not region, but town. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'm just going to fast forward these boring battles. And get out of here. Yeah! Oh, here he is, that useless idiot. Oh, how did you go? The demon goods, you did it, you got them back! You really are a great trainer. I know, as my thanks, I'll give you another great ball. Oh, I don't want a great ball! Is that all I get? Is that all I get? Ozzy put away the great ball in the hole's pocket. Excuse me, please. Please come with me. This is the Deven Corporation's third floor. I'd rather have that sofa over there than a pog wall. Our present office is on this floor. Anyway, I can't tell you how much I'm grateful for what you've done. Yeah, whatever. Hmm. By the way, that parcel you got back for us. Could I get you to deliver that to Shipyard and Slaper? Ah. Oh, he wants me to do more stuff now. He always wants me to do his jobs. Am I ten? Well, it's meant to be ten in this, aren't I? Like Ash. It would be awful if, it, if those robbers tried to take it again. Uh, he 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 he. So, uh, could I count on you to do that for me? He's gonna count on a, a ten year old. I'm not saying I'm ten, I'm saying the guy in the game's ten. Oh, that's right. Could you wait here a second? I remembered you're only ten years old. Oh, that's alright then. You don't have to do it, because you're only ten. Sorry. Our president would like to have a word with you. Oh, so he still wants me to do it. Oh. Ooh. Please go ahead. It's Mr. Stone. Creative name, creative name. The president of the Devon Corporation. I will just got word about you. You saved our staff. Not just once, but twice. And I'll give you a polka ball. I have a favor to ask of an amazing person like you. I understand. I know I am quite amazing. I understand that you're delivering your package to Slateport Shipyard. We're on the way. Could you stop off in Defa Town? I was hoping that you would deliver a letter to Stephen and Defa. <sighs> More jobs. This is getting out of order now. Can't he, he's really rich. Can't he hire someone else? Now you should know that I am a great president. Oh, are you? Big head. So I'd never be so cheap to ask a favor for nothing in return. Oh, so is he going to give us something good? Ah, gives us the Pokemon Nav. That device. It's a Pokemon Navigator, or a Pokemon Nav for short. It's an indispensable tool for any trainer on an adventure. It has a map of the whole region. You can check the locations of default and Slateport easily. Yeah, thanks. Let's have a look at it. It is quite cool actually, uh, you can look all around. Shows condition of your party. Oh, that's quite cool. It shows the people you battled. It's cool stuff. And let's get out of here. More. Look, why can't he hire one of these guys to do his jobs? It's not fair. Anyway. We gotta head to that old man's house with that weird little bird. You know the one we rescued in the last episode. So yeah. Let's head there. First off I'm just gonna heal my Pokemon. And let's get out of here. Oh look, it's me. Oh hi Ozzy, how's your pockets coming along? Mine's looking pretty decent. I caught a Pokemon powder bug woods until I went out of Pokeballs. Uh. 
Oh yeah, because now I've got cut, I can cut this down. Oh, X accuracy. I never really use these things. Alright, oh, he's head to that old man. but then he gives himself a gap again and starts chasing it again. If we exit the house and go back in, he's still chasing his bird. <sighs> Actually, where's his bed? Oh, I probably sleeps in a pot. This vase is expensive. Peered inside. Yeah, probably sleeps in there. Alright then, you old man. Come here. Come here, oldie. Ah, no. Oh, you... <laughs> Mr. Bunny, hold on, lass. Wait up, Pico. Mm, you're Aussie. You saved my darling Pico. We owe so much to you. What's that? You want to sail with me? Mmm, yeah. You have a letter bound for default and a package for slateboard, then. Quite the busy life you must lead. Ha 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 ha. But certainly what you're asking is no problem at all. You've come to the right man. We'll sail for default. Mr. Bunny, default, here we come. Anchor away. Pico is setting sail, my darling. God, I think he's in love with that bird. And we're in this little boat. Don't know how they all fit in there, but they seem to fit in there. Look how fast it's going. And we're almost there. And the boat is so small. Seriously, how we're bigger than the boat. Ahoy, we've hit land and default. I suppose you're off to deliver that letter to, to who was it now? Stephen. Yeah, you old man. This guy over here gives you a rod. This is a renowned fishing spot. Are you getting the itch to fish? I hear you like what you're saying. I'll give you one of my fishing rods. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. And as an added bonus, I even throw in a little fishing advice. First, you have to face the water, then use the rod. Focus your mind if you get a bite, pull on the rod. Sometimes you can snag something immediately. But with bigger catches, you need to time pulls in your rod to hold them in. Okay. And default town, a tiny island in the blue sea. <laughs> we can't go to the gym yet, so don't bother. We've got to head up here and fight these trainers. What do people do? They need to go to a washroom. <laughs> what if my rod hooks a big one while I'm in the washroom? I just can't go. Okay. Fisherman Ned would like to battle. Come on, Ned. Fisherman Ned sent out tentacle. Oh, tentacles part of crap. Oh yeah, take this, much up. Yeah, I'm peeing all over you, tentacle. Super effective. Mm, yeah. Oh yeah, level twenty. Foresight? No, I don't want that move. No. Yes. I lost because I'm trying not to go to the washroom. Oh, shut up. You lost because you you only have one Pokemon. It's not even that good. <laughs> Alright, let's back this, this one. Which do you prefer? Fishing in the sea or a stream? I don't care. I don't give a crap. Fisherman Elliot would like to battle. Fisherman Elliot sent out magic up. It's Mustache Fish. Mustache Fish. Yeah. Mustache Fish is dead. Or fainted. <laughs> Tentacle, eh? Mud Slap. Yeah. You don't like Mud Slap. Oh no, not a magic carp again. Those things are so powerful. No. Slap, slap, slap. Oh. Oh, he lived it. 
what he's gonna do is oh my god splash he's crazy he's crazy yeah and that's done with <sighs> so many repels I got Yeah, I'm gonna get some repels. Wait a second. Oh yeah, I forgot there's no shop in this town. That sucks. Oh, great. Alright then, um, that's the end of ch um, part 9. Sorry I went in the cave now again, you know, just showing you what it's gonna be like in there. So anyway, um, thanks for watching, and um, I hope you get ready for episode 10, when we go see Steven inside that cave. Yeah, this cave over here. Right here. Right here, you see it? Yep, this cave. Ooh. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.